as we begin the news at six, the temperature outside is still hot, hot, hot and staying cool is a challenge. A perfect example might be the Alabama Gulf Coast Zoo where man and beast are just trying to get through this heat wave. Here's WKRG News 5's Debbie Williams. Even the king of the beast is struggling to stay cool in these temperatures and their ancestors are from Africa. Whether it's ice buckets or fans, keepers are working overtime to help all the animals beat the heat. We provide misters, we provide um, sprinklers, we provide frozen items, you know, fruit items and things like that, depending on the species, what's appropriate for them. It's not just the animals that have to deal with this heat. The visitors that are coming to the zoo, they're trying to cool off any way they can. Always a must-see destination, even during a heat wave, the zoo has been packed. Today is all about family, love, peace, and happiness. And a little something else. And a lot of sweat. Unless you brought it with you, relief can be hard to find, unless you know where to look. We're searching. We have not found them yet. We do provide misters. Um, this year, something that is different. Um, we have a micro market installed over in our manor building, so our guests have a, another opportunity to go inside where it's air conditioned, sit down, have a cool drink, have a snack. And even if you don't like the snakes and lizards, the reptile house has become a very popular place. It's air conditioned. Well, we certainly tell the staff, you know, be well aware of what's going on with yourself physically, take breaks, stay hydrated is the big key. Just continue to stay hydrated and hydrated. Um, and then, you know, as far as our guests, we recommend they come earlier in the day. That's when the animals are more active and the heat more bearable. On the Baldwin County Beat in Gulf Shores, Debbie Williams, WKRG News 5.